All right, so today we have a Team of the Week player review by the MLS guys of Luciano Acosta from DC United. He's the fourth in form for Major League Soccer in three weeks, and in my opinion, he might be the best. He is definitely a crucial addition to your team, um, no matter who you've been using. Um, he could potentially, if you're running somebody like Giovinco, um, he could not be that guy for you if Giovinco is so successful for you or if you don't like these weak, uh, dicey, kind of quick players. Uh, but no matter what team you're running, I highly recommend at least trying out Acosta. He's only like 10k, so uh, you can buy him and sell him again. But he's just really, really fun to use because of how quick he is. Uh, his dribbling is so smooth and just unrealistically rapid. Um, his agility feels like 99 just because of how small he is. Um, his pros, as aside from acceleration and quickness, are his finishing. Uh, in these clips, you'll see that, uh, when goalies are coming out at him, he just manages to get it past them, no matter what he's doing. In the one-on-ones with keepers, he just gets the ball in the back of the net. And I've played with players who struggle a little bit uh, to beat the keeper in those 50-50 situations, but Acosta just makes it so the keeper can't get a touch on it, which is really nice, and that helped him get to that seven goal mark because he was not scoring any long shots for me. I took several from right around the 18, I tried power and finesse shots, and they just weren't on target enough for me. But those goals like that that you just saw, he just, in the box, you drop it to him and he just one times it into the net. He's really effective that way. Um, but unfortunately, his positioning isn't amazing. Uh, he's not making runs uh, in the offense alone. But what he's really good at is trailing your other attacker. So if you have the ball with your winger or your striker, Acosta is never far behind or adjacent to you. And he's available for a drop off or, you know, if a deflection happens, whatever it is, he's just there to receive the ball at the last second. And I think it's really beneficial and helped me get a lot of goals and even one, two assists with him. This clip is amazing. It just is emblematic of his dribbling. It's so unrealistic. It's so fun. Uh, you just embarrass other people with them. Um, and that's what gives him the edge over Giovinco, I think. While Giovinco manages to keep it closer to his body, Acosta just beats defenders, and that's so, so useful in this game. Um, especially, you know, when you come up against those CDMs like Kondogbia, um, Conte, whoever it might be, those guys who you really think are just going to take the ball every time. Acosta just blows right past him because he, he just floats, and it's really fun to use. His top speed is not great, but his quickness uh, kind of makes up for that. But you just got to be careful because if you send him a long through ball, uh, the defender's going to catch up to him because he's just not going to maintain that high speed. He couldn't trap it too well, but once he had the ball, his dribbling was second to none that I've used in MLS. Um, other than that, I mean... The only thing you need to know is that he's fun to use, he's cheap, it's an MLS inform. Definitely give him a try.